So you've just mentioned a number of the women leaders that my grandmother worked with. Uh, Ms. Margolin with the National Organization of Jewish Women, I did not know personally. Dorothy Height, I did have a chance to, uh, to meet and in fact to speak at her memorial service. Uh, 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 and Esther Peterson, of course, uh, is somebody that many of us remember and that I did get to, uh, get to meet, uh, uh, particularly when she created what was the uh, creator of the Consumer Protection uh, uh, Commission. Uh, a, a, a role not unlike uh, being from Massachusetts, I have to think of Elizabeth Warren and the Consumer Financial Protection Commission. But again, to put this in context, my grandmother was very involved with women leaders, first in New York City and New York State, and then nationally, uh, in terms of women's voices being heard, but, in, but, but more, more than that, in terms of women's voices speaking clearly and loudly about the needs of all Americans. And uh, thinking of that in context, remember my grandfather ran for uh, uh, governor of New York in 1928, uh, just as he uh, was learning to live with the uh, crippling effects of polio and return to public life, uh, and then was uh, then ran for president in 1932. Women didn't get the vote, and you know we we find this. I think my I have three daughters, and you tell them that women could not vote in the United States until 1920, and they're astounded. So think how close to women just being able to vote her involvement was, and she became very involved with uh, women involved in what was then called women's issues. Often consumer issues were called women's issues then. But also, uh, but also issues that affected uh, other groups that were discriminated against uh, and other groups that had particular energy and wisdom to offer to our American life. So uh, this particular focus on working with women as leaders is something that I think she brought to the front. Now, we've seen with other first ladies, some do more or less of this, some take a particular cause, and some are, uh, uh, some like Hillary Clinton, are more comprehensive uh, in what they do. Uh, I think she moved from the almost sort of uh, Dolly Madison era into the modern era. Regretfully, Mr. Roosevelt has to catch a very early plane home. Well, can I? I'm going to take the right. prerogative of asking the last question. What is your most favorite memory of your grandmother? So, what's my most favorite memory of my grandmother? Uh, just before I answer that, I want to say I really like this yellow T-shirt with uh, real like FDR. Uh, uh, not sure if that there anyone wore it with shorts, but uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, so you know I've told you a few of the uh, of the really outstanding times that I that I think of with her that were in one way or another in the public eye. The, the two things that I think that, just from a very personal point of view, that I think of the most is, as I said, I grew up in Southern California. And she was based in New York City after she left the White House. But as I've mentioned, she traveled constantly to all sorts of places. So four or five times a year, she would come uh, stay with us in, uh, in Los Angeles. And those times just sitting with her when she was just my grandmother, uh, and not Eleanor Roosevelt, the first lady of the world or the newspaper columnist, is one memory that I always cherish. But the other thing that we got to do as uh, smaller children was in the summer, uh, travel to visit her in Hyde Park, New York, where she had a small house uh, that uh, was not had not been her mother-in-law's house or her 
husband's house. Uh, it was called Valkill Cottage. Uh, and we would go and stay with her there. Uh, she had a swimming pool, which in those days was really great. Uh, uh, one of the things that you know was designed into this community, actually, but this was, of course, at her own house. And it's yes, that some historic things uh, happened there in terms of uh, visits of foreign dignitaries. But those times when it was just our family there, uh, I think are the memories that are are most uh, vivid and treasured for me. Thank you.